In this new tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can handle with the issue about resizing an object and then having the outline that is not following the project, which is result in this way. This is something that most beginners struggle to do and in this video, I'm gonna show you the desktop way and also the iPad way. So don't forget to watch this video until the end. My name is John Silva and I'm responsible to create hundreds and thousands of tutorials for an Affinity designer. So if you want to learn much more about Affinity, I suggest you to subscribe right here and let's get started right now. So if you are using Affinity Designer and then we want to try to resize our project just like that, you know that this is something that most people get annoyed. How we can handle with that? I'm gonna show you the first option, which is the scale with your object, right? So keep your project selected, which is this layer right here. And then I'm gonna click here on scale with object. Once you click here and resize, you're gonna have this result. But you're gonna notice that some object is not resizing. This is happening because this object, it is inside of a layer, which means that you need to select each one here inside, okay? But of course, I'm here to help you to, to handle with that. So this object, it is inside of this one. So we need to enable that. You can go here on select, select object, and then you can go here on select curves. I'm going to select everything that is curved. And then I'm going to click to disable and click to enable in order to enable to all curves. But we are not finished yet. We need to enable also for the shapes. Click here on select, select object, and then go here shapes now as you can see most of object is not with the scale with the object so we need to enable this now if we try to resize our project look at the result now it is scaling the way that we want as you can see we have here a layer effect that is not scaling proportionally right so to scale the layer effects what you need to do it is to go to the layer effects that you have and then you can go here on scale with object so if you resize as you can see affinity will follow in the correct proportion now in this new version there is a new way that you can apply this in a very quick way and of course if you're enjoying this tutorial don't forget to leave here the like and comment here the suggestion that you want to see more in this channel so first of all let me show you how that works as you can see we, ha we have used the scale with object which is, which is the traditional way to use this all right but let's say that you disable this and then you disable this scale with object and then we try and then we're gonna have this result but now what we have here on affinity it is this transform here on the transform panel if you cannot see this you can enable on transform right here so there's an on option that's called scale override which is this one so if i enable this affinity will apply the scale to all these properties here that we have which is the line shape corners their effects and text frame content. This is happening because Affinity it is applying the scale with object, which means that now if you resize your project with the control and out, that case now Affinity will apply the, the scale with object in everything. So basically, if I disable, for example, the line weight, which is you know this one, and then I resize, Affinity will ignore these strokes. This is very nice and fast because now you can resize your project in a very fast way as possible. Now I'm gonna teach you how you can handle that by using the iPad Pro. Well, this is a project that I did for the Vectorize Club. So if you want to join to my club, you can get many and hundreds of tutorial where I teach you everything about Affinity. You have seven days free trial to give you a try. Well, let's get started here to apply this you know, uh, issue here to solve this issue that you are trying to solve, which is this one. If you are trying to resize and then we are having this issue, let me show you how you can handle with that. I'm gonna open here right now the layers panel where I can get right here in this icon. And then I'm gonna select here my group, which is this one. I'm gonna open right now the stroke panel, this icon here. And then you can find the scale with object option right here. I will enable this option and then I can resize. But you need to be very careful because you need to pay attention to some of the object that will perhaps will not apply the stroke because this layer right here if we open it is a layer that is inside of a curve and affinity is not applying to the children objects of these curves to handle with that what you can do for example i'm going to disable right now the scale with object option okay disable this option and then i'm gonna open the transform panel i'm gonna open this one right here in this icon and you will find the option that it is the scale override right here below i will enable this option so i can resize this as you can see now it is applying but 
you will be noticing that affinity is still not applying to the corners which means that for example as you can see i have here this you know a call here i'm gonna open it so i have here this corner being applied and unfortunately affinity is not handled with this issue i'm going to right now convert this to curve as you're gonna see here on top in order to show you how you can solve this problem i'll click here and now this is a pure vector no corner tool in another side here we have the corner tool so you can see the difference when you are using this option so right now as you can see we have the show scale override options which is the same options from the desktop right so all these options here are enabled and scale with object in that case i'm going to resize right now this project again so you can see the result using the move tool i will do this affinity will apply the resize in the correct way as you can see here this side we have the corner tool with the covered curves but that case here we still have the corner tool but it is not applying if you want to have more tutorials like this i suggest you to get my new masterclass affinity 2.0 course in this course you're gonna learn everything about affinity designer from beginner until advanced in this class i will teach you everything all right everything about the tools the functionalities and how you can get a real professional using Affinity Designer. I will leave here the link on the description below and then you can get your class. Guys, I just want to thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, please just comment here below. That's it for now and I see you in the next tutorial. Take care and bye bye my friend.